this time we'll open our meeting. The first item here is uh, seating of alternates. Both of our alternates, uh, Chris Cheney and Vernon Shahan, is here. Um, next is public session. If you're here to speak to us on an item that is not on the agenda tonight, this will be the time to uh, feel free to ask any questions. Moving on to um, action of the minutes of September the 10th. That's very good to me. Mm -hmm. I move that we approve the minutes of September 10th. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstained? Aye, abstained. And next is the action of the minutes of September 16th, a special meeting. Those also look nice and tidy, to the point. Move the acceptance of the minutes from the September 16th special meeting. Aye. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain? Abstain. So good. We missed you, Jim, that day, but we were happy you didn't spread, spread the joy of your cold with us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Number six, informal discussion. Discuss possible <clears throat> expansion of Greenway Village Apartments, 18 Mill Pond Drive. Is the applicant here? Yes. Some copies. I know I have introduced them to each other. Pass out copies. Yeah, hard copies. We don't Thank you. Thank you. That happens to be the schematic too that we had uh, <coughs> developed, and it was for the uh, looking at the expansion. Um, so my plan. Is, Let me is, ask a question. Where yes. is this expansion? Is this on your current property, or are you coming onto Mill Pond? Coming onto Mill Pond. Pond. So that's the property this, that's this, for sale. Right. The second. The second map in the back shows the current. Excuse Mill me. Pond. Sorry. Can you just introduce yourself for the I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, my name is Paul Selnow, architect from Shadow Selnow Associates, and uh, located in Farmington. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so we were the architects for the original project, and the second map you see here is, is the current plan uh, shows the, the existing 34 units, and um, the original acreage of a little over six acres, uh, 6.18 acres, of which um, uh, some was donated to the town, and there was a developable property of 5.07. So. At that time, our density was significant, 6.7 units per acre, and we were allowed eight. So everything here was, was in complete compliance. So the, the scheme, too, that um, we're, we're discussing is, is the expansion. We're looking at the expansion of the property down Mill Pond. This is a, a current parcel under the C2 zone that abuts his property. Um, and what he would like to do, uh, that's about a, a, a 0.8 acres uh, parcel. So what he would like to do would be to purchase that property, uh, merge that parcel into his current parcel, and add um, five units of, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, eight units of apartments and a community space. Um, so with that, our density is still under the eight, where it's 7.14 acres. Um, but in order to do that, he obviously needs his own change to go from a C zone to, uh, to, to, the, to the PDM zone. Um, and um, so I know that once, if we presented this strictly on the C2 zone, it would not be allowed because of the acreage. So the only way to do that would be to merge that. And that is something that he would like to do. Um, He's reluctant to go ahead and purchase it without uh, some understanding that it might uh, be acceptable to the town. We, we had a uh, meeting with the Economic Development Board. They seemed receptive. Um, they had comments to us. 
and I wanted to come this evening before you to see uh, how this board would react to that uh, type of an application. So, as we did before, I think, did, did we have to change part of that zone? Yes, we did. We had to change part of that before yes. in order to allow the apartments. So this would be just the next lot on the same side of Mill Pond. Correct. Right, all of the access to the apartments would be off of this current site. So we would be not be adding another driveway off of Mill Ponds. So we'd come onto the site and then in. I think it's an excellent use. Myself, I think it's an excellent use of the property. Certainly, I, I have to say, I had a, a nice tour, and they're certainly lovely apartments. Yeah, they really, they're very well. Very nicely made, and yeah. I think they settle in there very nice. I think they do, and I think they're well received. I think he's done quite well with occupancy and maintaining. He's actually made several upgrades to the property since it was there, so I think it looks great. Yeah, thank you. And we would be looking at, at, at screening and, you know, all the things that go with so Of course, that would be the second second level, the first level will be to have to change the, the first, zone. The right, one, I would, I would parcel, in speaking with Abby, it sounds like the first step they would need to do would have to physically purchase the property, then merge the lots, yeah. and then come before you. I mean, a preliminary look at the, uh, you know, there's a sewer pump there, pumping station, so we certainly don't see that there was any problem with that, um, you know, handling that actual discharge. There's also a very large detention area that you can see on the right hand, upper, kind of the upper right section of that. Um, there's certainly adequate and ample area to expand that if need be, but it's likely that we could handle this amount of impervious area in that area. So preliminary indications look good, but you know we wanted to get an indication of, of, of how this commission would, would react. This building would be similar in style to the existing buildings? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Um, what size are the apartments? So now you're testing my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you an easier question. How many bedrooms? <laughs> there, there would be a, a two and three bedroom apartments, yeah. just like the other one. Yeah. They, they, these are a little bit different because there's no hill, right? That does, some had went into a hill and there were you know two stories and then into the hill. Then there were some that were straight two stories. These would be two stories. So these would be like the straight two-story ones. These would be the property. straight right. These would be these would not be a, the three-story component, which was into the hill, which was the two and a half scenario with the garages. These would have these because that's what the two stories is your requirement. So we would be within that, and you know these are roughly the same size as the townhouse block. We did that in just blocking this out to see approximately how many you know we could get so he could begin his planning. We haven't actually laid out apartments yet. We wanted to, you know, take it to this to this stage to see how it would be received before we actually laid them out. But they'd be comparable, certainly, in size. And obviously, there's a market for more. He, he certainly believes so too. He's quite full. So uh, he's he's succeeded with the existing yes. oh, yeah. apartment. That's so what it's, I figure. It's location. Frankly, it's hard for me to see what else would want to go there that it's would be extension. as yeah. beneficial yeah. given what else is already there i'm not sure what else would, it's, it's a tough what spot. other kind of buyer would, would be interested yeah. that would put up something that would benefit the town more yeah a, a 0.8 acre commercial part of it that end all the way up back there it hasn't sold since so he's looking at that saying this is a good opportunity for him to expand it and, and to your point it does make a, a nice logical connection to bring that down could be a commercial lot for a commercial business yeah. other than residential. Right. Yes, it could. Currently, it's a, it's a commercial zone. But it sounds like it's been on the market for a bit, and no one's stepped forward with pr proposing that kind of use for it. Or I think that's true. I mean, it, uh, you know, I'm not fully aware of, of, of the marketability of it, or who's been, how, how can they they've marketed it. But let's say that since the, since the project was originally developed, and we first presented this in 2012, you know, and this voucher has been developed. There has not been a business that has shown up and wanted to purchase that for a business use since. So, um, you know, that's another reason why, why we think that, you know, expanding 
residential in that area is also a very good idea. It gives them a clubhouse too, you know, a meeting space for the building. Would that something. be the only clubhouse? Would that be new to the facility? Is that yes, the it would. It would be the, yes, it was. There was not an original clubhouse for that building, for that for that site. So this building would be new for that development. Seems appropriate to me. Yeah. Good, thank yep. you. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. But thank you for coming to us in advance. It, it does make our process easier as well. Well, we thought so too, I, and I appreciate that. It was one of those chicken and egg things as far as what happens first. We've got to see if you're going to be receptive before we go and work you. So, but thank you very, very much. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Item number seven is an informal discussion possible zone change and multifamily development at 37 Hartford Avenue. Jim? <laughs> long time coming, isn't it? It has been a long time coming. <laughs> I don't know, is there any place I could put this that's going to help you look at it? We used to have a used to have an easel, easel someplace. You all have a small copy of it in the that's what I remember. Yeah, what we have is this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. figure out how that goes together. The original proposed building. There used to be one there. There was. There has been. It looks like this is what's left of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. There you go. The town manager, can you buy a new one? <laughs> I don't think that's so bad. Yeah, that looks better. That looks like what we have. Fran took it away. Yeah, Fran took it away. <laughs> I don't know if you can all see it. But Please introduce you do, yourself first. And we'll you do have a small cut. Yeah. Uh, my name is Arthur Holland. Uh, here representing Holland Partners, LLC. Um, one of the other, well, three of us are partners. Myself is my wife. Back there with a the red <coughs> jacket. And my son, who's one of our sons, who's not here tonight. And uh, uh, this is property at 37 Hartford Avenue, which I'm sure you, most all of you know where it is. It's sitting there with a foundation on it for quite some time. Um, and I was before this commission for that site for um, approval as a medical use building. Um, I don't know if any of you were members of the commission oh, yes. at that oh, time. Yes. Oh, yes, we were. We were. Oh, sure. Many we were. were. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, we were. Two, yeah. Yeah. four of us were. Um, so you may uh, remember, we, I thought we worked uh, quite hard to try to get a plan that the town would like, and, uh, and they did a lot of work with the architects trying to get a, something that would fit in the town, a colonial look to it. Um, so we did receive approval, and we uh, tried to get, we, we listed it with a broker, and in the, over the years we listed it three different brokers. There was never any kind of interest uh, for medical use, and uh, we now, has been recommended and there's been some interest if it could be converted to condominiums. And that's the reason I'm here before you. In order to do that, we would need a zone change. And I've been talking to Abby about that. She's been very helpful at uh, making suggestions. 
So if we were going to do the condos, we would need a zone change. And presently, it's in two, of the, two zones. Uh, the front part where the building is, is the uh, uh, center common zone, I believe. And the back edge is the center edge zone where the parking is, most of it. So it's in two different zones. And uh, reading the regulations and the statement of intent of uh, the Grand Bay Center zone, the, there's encouragement there to do condominiums, um, type of buildings, uh, multifamily housing. And this would be, those of you who were here before, if I remember, it was a three-story building. Um, the intent was to be to use the same building um, and just change use and, and have everything the way it was approved originally. It would be the same size, well, obviously the same size. It would have the same same look and yep, same thing. Same look, yep. same architecture. How many units are you thinking of? I'm sorry? How many units are you? Um, it would be probably 12, uh, approximately 12, give or take one or two either way. But I think probably, it best seems to me, seems to be best fitted to, for 12. <coughs> and in your, this, you know, the center zone, your uh, Granby center zone the statement goes with it. There's a, as I said, encouragement there for multifamily housing and for uh, to be worked in with the uh, commercial buildings around them. Uh, so. Question, just to be clear, it says condominiums in the proposal. Are we proposing owner-occupied condominiums? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Would you say that Maybe again? owner. Uh, I'm just to be clear on the proposal uh, for the condominiums. Are they proposed to be owner occupied condominiums? Or uh, rental. Or rental. I, I or rental. do not have an answer to that question because okay. uh, we don't have any specific particular interest at that, this point. We just uh, the brokers told me he has found a couple of different. Uh, People that are interested uh, in site for doing this type of use. <clears throat> so, just as a point so, for me, if you come forth with a proposal in the future, that would be a point I would want to be clear well, that, on. That, that's right. We, we'd have to. We need a zone change, and then we would have to come back before you with a plan. Abby, can you explain to me just very briefly why this would require a zone sure. change? So um, multifamily use is allowed in the center common zone by special permit, but there's a minimum um, acreage requirement of five acres, um, and this site does not meet the five acre requirement. Um, the commercial center zone, which is the uh, zone of property next door, um, that allows multifamily by special permit, and there is no minimum uh, acreage requ requirement um, in that zone. So that's why there are some options to either um, pursue the zone change or change the zoning regulations in the center common zone to reduce um, the five acre, but given that would apply to all properties in that zone, I didn't think that that was What's the acreage an, an appropriate requirement? avenue. What's the acreage? No, what's the acreage? I'm sorry. I believe it's 225. 225, yeah. Okay. So the two zones, the center edge zone is mostly this area here where the parking is. And the uh, I come up the uh, center front is, uh, is what has the building. Well, just, just to tell my follow members, I, mean, I would be more interested in changing the zone for this particular parcel than I would be in changing the zone overall. And I don't yeah. think that's a good idea. Makes sense. 
I'm, I'm sorry, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm certainly willing to entertain the request for changing the zoning on this particular parcel, but I, for one, would not support a change of the acreage rules for the zone overall. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd always hope that somebody would come along and look at this for senior living uh, with supportive services, but. I don't supportive know. what? Supportive services. So it would be going, you know, when you leave your home, you want to go to something smaller, um, you'd like to have somebody on, on, on premise that would be able to assist and, and just give you that little extra boost before you have to head to full care. But that's, that hasn't happened in Grandpa yet. Um, my, my understanding, that, and this is only what the brokers told me who's been talking to people, is that, that they were thinking of a high quality I get, I get units. It, I get for, Do you know approximate square footage of these units? Well, each floor is approximately 5,000 square feet. Uh, you know, the total bill, the, you know, the, the total is 16,000 square feet, total floors. Uh, so you're approximately 5,000 square feet per floor. And so if you divide that by uh, four, you know, you're in the 1,200 square foot range or something like that, I would believe. That's what these things are. Yeah. We certainly would like to see something happen there. It's been, it's been a long time. Yes, yeah, it's been a long time sitting with the foundation and nothing there. What's the zone just to the east there or south of there, the next building over? Um, going to the east, that's the... East Granby, yeah. That yeah, um, Center Commons. So this property, it, it marks the division point between the commercial center and the Center Commons. Oh. So it's, yeah. So, Abby, how, how much in terms of acreage or square feet are we talking about changing the zone for? This would be for the whole property. The whole property. So it would be 2.5 acres. Okay. All right. Thank you. I don't have enough specifics. I have questions about what happens to this other parking lot if we do grant your your request and you do in fact build out the condominiums. What happens to this other parking lot? You mean the extra parking because because there would be less parking with uh, less parking with uh, condominiums and with the <laughs> medical. Exactly. Uh, I would I would assume the plan would come in with the parking shown to fit whatever number of units there are in the building. So they wouldn't just pave the whole area out there if it didn't need to be paved. <coughs> Did I answer your question, sir? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand <laughs> that. I think you don't know. I think he's saying, you don't know. Know. I think he's saying he needs less parking. Because it's not going to be a business anymore. Of course he does. What happens to that parking lot was a simple question. I, I have a little trouble yeah. hearing. So. Sorry. Even with hearing aids. <laughs> I guess Mike, you have a suggestion? Introduce yourself for the record, please. Yes. Mike Ungerlater. Um, You're next door. Um, what's that? You're next door to them. Yeah, I'm right next door, 41 Hartford. Um, we have a dental center there. Just a couple things. Number one, to answer your question, when, when this was being approved, it was it was didn't have to be a medical center but if it was they would require extra parking and that would be in the front of the building that extra park otherwise it wasn't going to be paved and it would be whether it be grass or or whatever and all the parking because it, it's been graded previously first of all i share a, a driveway with this and I, I have to see if i actually own any of that driveway or if I just have right of way of access. So I obviously would have to have somewhat somewhat of an input into how this is gonna work because it, it's a, the only access to my office. Um, but the way it was designed was all the parking was gonna, for that building was gonna be down below and then the entrance was gonna be kind of under 
under grade level, and, and there was going to be an elevator in there and, and to get up into the, into the second and third level. So it looks like a two-story building from the street, and then it's, but it's actually three. But I think the end, that, did that answer your question about that extra parking? Is I, that you well, I know, yeah, I knew how it came about because we didn't want the parking in the street. So. Yeah. Right, right. And there'll probably be extra parking. In so the who owns it? Do you have ownership of that land? Not, not the front of that building. No, I. No, the back oh, parking lot. No, I don't even own their back parking lot. I don't own it. They, they own that all. I just share the driveway access okay. to get to my, which is is the co. That would be the driveway out of the road to the building. But that was. Previous, that arrangement, I assume, was approved when we approved it for, to be a possible medical building. Mm -hmm. And this would be less traffic, not more. Yeah, yeah this would be less. If I. Yes, please. Um, do you want to speak or should yes, I? Um, if I could clarify it a little bit, um, the parking was laid out for and approved by this commission as uh, shown. And then if, in fact, it was discovered after it was in use that the parking was not adequate, then there was space shown in front of the building that could become parking. But our, our desire was not to have any parking in the building. We, we, we worked from the beginning to keep the building as far back as we could to, uh, and uh, because just well, I didn't want to see the building close to the street. I, I, I didn't think that was nice. And, uh, but I think some of you may remember um, we, we were trying to make something that would really be nice for the town. And, and, uh, that's really well, the better. parking is shown for what's proposed. He's talking about 12 or so units, and what's shown is 20 spaces plus four handicapped spaces. So I would think that would be sufficient for what's of proposed. Uh, according to the regs, you need two and a half. Yeah. yeah, and that's obviously something, if this moves forward and then, you know, the zone change application, there would be a full site plan needed, even though right. one has been approved um, and certainly expired at this point and given the change in use. Can, can you even do a, a larger residential? 12 units with it being on septic or would it have to be connected to the sewer? That would... I believe it's got septic in the rear showing the yes. trenches. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's septic. That's something we would have to look I at. I wonder in more septic detail. and water, town water. Yeah. The septic is actually installed. We, we installed the septic in the reserve area so that we would never have to dig up the pavement of it. Um, we had to add on to it, so it's... it's, it's but the code does it's require different, different specifications use. for residential D because it's around the clock. Exactly. It's bedrooms. Bedrooms, yeah. <laughs> so you may have to connect to the sewer, is what I'm saying. Well, that we have to... I'll, ch I'll check that out with the uh, health department. Let's see. That's something you'll have to check on. How about water? Does the water go, go up there? Mm -hmm. Water goes up that way. Water's there. It's into the building. And it's all graded. We're ready to pave uh, when we stopped. Uh, the recession came along, and the financing disappeared. Uh, so we had to stop. I, I we self-financed so. what we did do. I, I personally would like to see something happen with this, and I think um, this is sounds uh, like a, a fairly good proposal. Um, I, I think that in order, do we have to change the whole the whole kit and caboodle if we're going to do a zone change, or would we just do part of it? In other words, right now it's it's two different. Center edge and it's center common. It would make sense to have at least the building and parking area and all the site together. improvements yeah. in one zone. Yeah. Well, is the proposal allowed in either of the current zones? In the center common. In the center yeah. Okay. 
Well, it seems reasonable to me. It's a decent yeah. proposal, and uh, the adjoining piece of property already approves it, so two and a half acres isn't a big exception. Well, it also seems like there's still a lot, you know, if we were to ultimately approve it, there'd be a lot of other opportunities along the way to make sure that we got what we wanted before we made the change. But to, it seems like it's, it's been in limbo for 12 years, and this is a perfect, this seems like a perfectly reasonable proposal. I don't see why we would say we won't even entertain it. Agreed. Would you be asking for the zone change before you have a prospective buyer? Well, that's what the broker's been suggesting, uh, that we, we've got to know we can get, the, at least we have to know we can get the zone change, and I assume the only way we know that is is to get the whole zone change. And uh, I would assume, since we have the approval the way it is now for medical, um, if we suddenly got medical interest, that we still would be able to use that also. May I make a suggestion that you talk with Dr. Underlider about the, the driveway to make sure that um, he's on target with this because that, that is his driveway to his business next to us. I'm quite sure that we have full ownership of that driveway. As I said, would you please talk with the doctor to oh, make sure, sure it works? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we talk once in a while. Yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, friendly I, basis. Hopefully, talk some more. Talk some more. <laughs> I, I would have a hard time dealing with that if, if, if he were ever cut off and we had to have another curb cut. Oh. Okay. Oh. I would. So, talk with him, no. please. I, I'm, I'm quite sure we checked that very thoroughly, but I, I, I will take care of it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have come before you with the plan before the, the way it was. Like <laughs> it's a good question since he's raised it. <clears throat> it comes from us too, also our concern also. Okay. Yeah. Good. Please, my concern. Uh, any other questions? I think that. It's a good I I'd just like to make a statement that, you know, I, I've seen this property sit there and I've always made comments about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I don't, want, I don't want to see it resolved at any cost, Paul. Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. That's, okay. what, that's what I was saying. So, it has to be have, done right. Do you have any reservations to it? Kind of I don't know enough about it. Right. Yeah. I mean, what informal are? discussion is one thing, but you should have some idea. Yeah. Sounds to me like he's being coached into getting his own change for some possible future use. That doesn't sit right with me. If you change the zone, mm -hmm. would it open it up for some other opportunity other than now that we've changed the zone and now we can bail on the condominium and go with some other idea that was yep. never offered before? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, but the center edge and center common allow mostly the same use. Very similar, yeah, yeah. but there are some differences. Um, but certainly, yeah, once the commission approves a zone change, even if it is with an understanding that there is a particular use, there's no guarantee that that's ultimately the application that will be submitted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't do contract zoning. Right. <laughs> Well, so then if, they, if you come forward with a request for a zone change, you might want to bring a better site plan. Or, or, or a more specific proposal. A more specific proposal with a potential okay. site plan. All right. And I'm sure that Abby yeah, can work with you on, yes. on that. She, she knows what we like. <laughs> she, knows <laughs> she, knows what, well. she knows the level of detail we like to see. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised to see so many of you still here. I think that's very good. <laughs> We're still hanging in there. I'm surprised too. We are too. Yeah. <laughs> the pay is good. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us aren't. You said the pay is yet. good. The pay is Next is a public hearing for an application seeking a special permit under zoning regulation section 8.5 for an accessory apartment or property located at 14 Spring Glen 
Um, there will be a public hearing conducted by the Grandview Planning and Zoning Commission on September 24th, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the Grandview Town Hall Meeting Room, 15 North Grandview Road, to hear and consider the following item. Application seeking a special permit under zoning regulations section 8.5 for an accessory apartment for property located at 14 Spring Glen Drive, file Z-13-19. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and communications will be received. Copies of the proposal are on file and available in the Community Development Office. Thank you. Was the applicant here? Um, the applicant is not available tonight. Um, so if the commission is in agreement, I would like to continue the public hearing until October 8th. It's going to be a busy night. <laughs> We're happy to continue. Do we need to actually move that? Uh, move continuance of the application to the commission's October 8th meeting. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those abstained. So moved. Next public hearing is an application seeking a one lot re subdivision of property located at 142 K Street. There will be a public hearing conducted by the Granby Planning and Zoning Commission on September 24, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the Granby Town Hall Meeting Room, 15 North Granby Road, to hear and consider the following item. Application seeking a one-lot resubdivision for property located at 142 Cases Street, file P-1-19. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and communications will be received. Copies of the proposal are on file and available in the Community Development Office. Thank you. The applicant is here. Please introduce yourself. Well, I'm uh, Peter Bors of 142 K Street. Uh, you could say I'm representing on behalf of Paul Bors Sr. He is my father who is dating me the land. So basically this application is seeing a five division split from the land to build a 1,485 square foot ranch. I notice that we have the farming and health district and we have the wetlands. And Everything. We have all the information here. Engineers. Looks to me like a very nice thing. Mm -hmm. Up on that beautiful street. Yep. I don't see any problems having this thing. Yeah, um, so, yeah, just to give um, some additional background. So, the property is located in the R4A zone, so there's a minimum of four acres required. Um, this is proposing five acres. Um, the property in its entirety is 88.6 acres, so there's certainly a balance left to comply with that. Um, it's my understanding there will be very minimal grading um, on the new lot, That's minimal correct. tree clearing, um, and as you've mentioned, the town engineer has reviewed it, the wetlands agent has reviewed it as well, and they do have approval from the Farmington Valley Health District. Um, one item that the town engineer did want to point out, the um, parcel to be split off itself, the five acre piece, um, is to, was completed to A2 survey accuracy. The balance of the property, um, a full survey was not done, that's class D. Um, he is comfortable accepting Good. that Good. Um, too. for the five acre piece to be split. Um, and because the property is to be deeded for no consideration to a family member, the open space requirement does not apply. Um, and that will be noted on the Mylar for filing. I thought when we changed this to four acres, we also said something about dark sky designation. I, we've always kind of encouraged um, dark sky, but I think up there. It was particularly critical. Of yeah, that we had hoped. And but all that meant was it, it should have down lighting. Rather down, than down lighting. And oh, I'm, I'm not going to have yeah. any lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, nice and quiet. <laughs> it's very yep. quiet and it's very beautiful. Up yep. There. <laughs> That's a good point, Jim. We, all, we always have to remember that. <clears throat> Any other information we need? Anybody in the public that would like to make a comment? Yes. Could you give us your name, please, and stand up? Oh, yes. And we'd love you to come up. So. So I have a seat or remain? You can stand. Yes, my name is uh, my name is Paul Borg Jr. I own 114 K Street, and I have no objection. That's and I actually I like the idea. I was I was going to come build a house there at one point, but then 114 came up for sale about five years ago when uh, Mrs. Yasney got too old to live there, so I bought that. So it's it's all family, and it's been in the family for at least 100 years, maybe 120. I remember that. It's, it's been there a while. Yeah, it would it would be nice to see my brother live there too. Absolutely. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Anything else? 
that we need to uh, add to this? No yeah, conditions. No so. conditions, I don't think. Fine, at this time we'll close the public hearing in 65 days to make a decision. I guarantee we will not take that long. Excellent, thank you. Receive applications and set public hearings. Yes, so there is um, one application per receipt. It is an application seeking an amendment to zoning regulation sections 1.4 and 8.16, which would allow restaurant drive throughs by special permit in the business and industrial zones. Um, so as the commission remembers, this was finalized at the special meeting two weeks ago. Um, it has been referred to CROG um, for their review. So the earliest public hearing date would be October 22nd. Next is consideration of the bubble ap ap application where the commission has concluded the public hearing. And we have one that we've concluded, and that is for the one lot resubdivision located at 142 K Street. And I think that that is excellent. I love seeing the family stay there. Sons have what? You want a motion? I would love a motion. I move we approve the application seeking a one lot resubdivision for property located at 142 K Street. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed or saying? So moved. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Yep, it's an honor to stay in this town, been here my whole life, went to the store right down the street, be here at Great at that house until the end of my days. That's great. Yep. We yes. love to hear that. We need, yep. more, we need more people yep. or, or really grampy. There you go. <laughs> yep, that's great. Okay. Uh, 11 is the application seeking to modify a special permit for the farm store and there's only regulations to allow special events, et cetera, et cetera. The hearing was closed September 10th. Application to be considered at our October 8, 2019 meeting, so not tonight. Staff report and correspondence. Um, I just have one item. The commission has been requested to submit the meeting schedule for next year. Um, keeping with what's been done in the past, I would suggest the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. Mm -hmm. That's an agreement. Sounds yep. good. Good. Commissioner. Reports or correspondence? Anybody have anything on their mind? Uh, what's happening with your Shaw's garage? I see all this work going on. And oh. It's all by a matter of right. I, I saw them spread and filled by the brook. And I was just curious. Does anyone know what's going on there? You mean up in 189? Is that what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, Shaw's garage. A family home. They yeah. rejuvenated a barn. Somebody's keeping cars in there, I think. Somebody said that to me. I don't know. I heard that as yeah. well. They, yeah. They've done a lot of work on this. Yeah, it's looking nice. This ready to the car looks great. It was yeah. kind of an eyesore before. Yeah, it's looking good. It's ready to fall down. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a little bit. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I, I drive by that almost every day. I, I have been unable to detect anything nefarious about it. I'm just glad to see them improving the property. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? Any other ideas? All right, ready to adjourn. At this time, we're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.